Good morning, Marin County Fire. Uh, today I'd kind of like to talk to you about uh, welcoming two new watercraft into our ski fleet. Uh, the new Yamaha FXHOs will be replacing the 15R5 and the 15R10 skis, uh, both Tomales and Point Reyes. Um, these are the 2020 model of the Yamaha FXHO, HO standing for high output. These are 1800cc, four cylinder, 1.8 liter uh, motors. Capacity will be the same, up to three personnel. Uh, plus victims on the sled. Dry weight of uh, 836 pounds, and they're a little bit longer and a little bit wider. Uh, working on replacing the ski trailer at Point Reyes so that it fits pretty well. And then on the Tamales ski, uh, it fits just snug enough so that uh, we can get the, the rear gate installed with the ski on there. Fuel capacity is going to be a little bit less, uh, dropping down from 20 gallons to 18.5, but we will see uh, increased performance with speeds up to 65 miles an hour in three seconds and they do very good in the heavy surf environment. Storage capacity uh, will be a little bit larger at 44 gallons, and you'll see the same features as electronics, but with upgraded batteries, uh, trickle charging on the actual watercraft, and the AIS uh, transmitter will be operating at a full five watts instead of a half a watt, and the marine radio will be the same at a 25 watt marine radio. One additional change is that uh, we've switched out the uh, life sled for an HSA high surf accessory sled, it's going to have more flotation, a little bit wider, and a little bit longer for the victims and the rescue swimmer. Some other features that you'll see on the new watercraft are cruise control, a touchscreen display, and trim control for the operator. Uh, these new watercraft will uh, have a life expectancy of about 10 years and should service uh, Point Reyes and Tamales very well in uh, the coming uh, year as we get these out and folks get some stick time on the actual watercraft. I'm going to have Shane uh, go over some of the technical features and some of the uh, operational procedures for the uh, watercraft. Thank you. Before putting the ski in the water, make sure the two rear drain plugs are securely fastened, not over tightened and threaded correctly. Next, lift off the rear seat and reach in and make sure the battery switch is pointing up at 12 o'clock. If it's pointing to the left at nine o'clock, that disconnects the batteries from the ski. If it's pointing in the two o'clock position, that is enabling both batteries to start the ski in the case that one battery is low on charge. Only use the two o'clock position if the ski will not start on its primary battery. Otherwise, run and charge the ski in the 12 o'clock position. As well as the battery switch, you also need to turn on the other electrical switches inside the compartment, which consist of the radio, the AIS, the bilge, all three of those need to be on during operation and at nighttime you have a navigational light switch that's in there as well. On the front of the bars you have the start switch. Press it once quickly to activate the screen. Press and hold to start the ski. Uh, one of the most important things for you to know is that the reverse now is achieved by pressing this ride lever. Press it once and it dumps the reverse bucket and you're going in reverse. On the right side of your bars here, you have a no wake button. Basically gets you out of the harbor at an idle speed. You got a cruise control feature, up, down, and on the front you've got your throttle lever right here. From the rider's position, if you look forward, you can see the touch screen. On the left, you've got trim control. You've got battery voltage below that. You've got your speedometer right in the middle with a tachometer on the bottom and your fuel gauge on the right. To the left of the screen is your AIS antenna. If you find your ski locked, the default code for the lock is 1234. So press the lock, here comes your pin, enter 1234 and you can unlock your ski. Underneath the handlebars, you'll have a tilt lever, menu scroll so you can operate the menu from the seated position, an alarm mute in case your fuel alarm's going off, and a mic magnet. Inside the center console, you can pull out your radio mic. Be sure and pull it out and notch the cord inside the little recess there. There's going to be two, one on the cover and one on the base. And then use the magnet to hold your mic in place. All of our skis have trickle charges on them now. Just be careful when you're plugging and unplugging. And when you go to store the ski at night, don't slam the hatch. You don't want to damage that trickle charger port there. 
It's very important when charging the skis to use the 12 volt AGM mode. On the port side of the ski, you've got your little pisser valve here. Anytime the engine's running, make sure you're getting water exiting out of this little hole. To flush the ski, open up the rear storage compartment and pull out the quick connect. Open the port, push, quarter turn, hook up your garden hose, start the engine, flow the water, stop the water, stop the engine. If you're going to operate at night, make sure you turn on your navigational lights. Port side red, starboard side green, aft is white. At the rear of the ski, you'll find your bilge pump exit port, as well as your tube and throw bag hanging off the grip handles. The new sleds we have on our new skis are made by High Surf Accessories. They're wider, lighter, with better grip handles, and with a lot more float. This is just a brief overview of this new ski. You're going to see them at Tamales, Point Reyes, and Station 1 in Southern Marin. I encourage you to get familiar with them before operating it and read the user manual. Thank you, Shane, for that overview. As we get folks uh, some time to get some stick time on the new watercraft, I, I want to urge people to uh, ease into these things. They have a lot of speed, a lot of capacity, and they can get you in a bad spot really fast. So please use caution. Remember, slow is pro. I also want to thank some of the individuals that made it possible to get these new watercraft out here. The Willie Krakauer especially spent hours and hours uh, working on the electronics and capacity upgrades with the batteries, the AAS, and the, the radio systems, as well as Pat, Graham, Jesse, that all assisted with getting all the fabrication work and uh, the decking on the, on the vessel. Thanks so much, and I appreciate everyone's support in our water rescue program.